Email company of soldier founder JDF launches probe. A Jamaican Defence Force soldier is reportedly facing questioning after the female companion he was travelling with was found dead from gunshot wounds. Our news team understands that the vehicle they were travelling in Friday night crashed along Caledonia Road in St. Andrew and the woman was found inside. The soldier was reportedly taken into custody for questioning. More details coming soon. So as we intensified our efforts last year into the early part of this year, we're continuing to benefit from, from significant public support in our pursuit of guns, gunmen, and guns. And I want to use this opportunity to thank Jamaica for choosing peace and safety and deciding that we've had enough of the death, mayhem, and pain caused by guns and the people who carry them and turn them on our citizens. And also to intimidate people and inflict the worst form of violence. Since the publication of the National Wanted List a few weeks ago, some 16 persons have been arrested and charged for several violent crimes. And one was fatally shot and an AK-47 removed from them. This is a follow-on from our Wanted Wednesday campaign, which has been running since last year, and has seen 28 wanted persons arrested and charged and two fatally shot. We have been tracking a 22% increase in firearm seizures, with twice as many rifles being seized so far this year over last year. Over the last two days, two illegal guns have been seized right here in the St. Andrew North Division, although not in Stony Hill. The policing area has recorded two murders since, or the policing division, really, well, the area actually, has recorded two murders since the start of the year. One was gang related, and the other was part of a growing concern that we have about violently, mentally ill persons harming people. So somebody was chopped by somebody who fits in that category last year, and they've died now. It's something that we are addressing as a police force to the extent that we can, but it's one of those things that we have to partner with others to do. So that's really the context and backdrop that I wanted to set for this. A Jamaica Defence Force Sergeant is now in police custody as a probe comments into the killing of an unidentified woman on Caledonia Avenue, Kingston 5 on Saturday, February 26 unfolds. The body of the woman appears to be in its late 30s, is about 5 feet 2 inches long and has a skin tone that shows evidence of bleaching. It was clad in a black blouse, purple sweatpants and one foot of black and red Nike sneakers. Reports from the St. Andrews Central detectives are that about 4.20 a.m. the Crossroad Police responded to an assignment of a motor vehicle collision. On arrival of the team, a grey underfit motor car was seen. A woman's body was protruding from the front passenger seat. She had multiple gunshot wounds. She was taken to hospital where she was pronounced dead. Investigation that followed revealed that the motor car belongs to a JDF sergeant who is also a licensed firearm owner he was located and taken into custody detectives say they are working diligently as the case processes reports are emerging that a policeman was shot and injured early on sunday morning in the gregor park area of portmore st catherine information on the development remains sketchy but further details are anticipated later in the day Gregor Park has been a relatively hotbed of violent crimes for quite some time, including the shooting death of a police sergeant during a late night game of dominoes among friends and neighbors last September, and the killing of another cop or constable there in March 2021. More details to come on the latest incident as they become available.